Hello, welcome to my channel. And in this episode, I'll show you how to create custom spear. So this spear is the parts I collected that will be used as a bracing spear and a javelin. Also, it can be swing and the other one is a blunt spear. Now let's dive in creating our mod. First, we need to create our own mod folder. Next is, let's go to native module data and take the crafting pieces and crafting templates. Now inside our mod folder, create our module data and put the copied file inside. Now we also need the submodules and let's take the items inside sandbox core. Now we're just gonna choose what we need for future use and delete the rest. Now we will start by editing our submodules. The ID must match our custom items title of the mod. And let's remove the cultures and other XML node that we don't need. Now by going in native, we'll also take crafting items and crafting templates XML node. Now in the list of what I've shown you earlier, we will take it in crafting pieces and edit it. But first, we need to find it and copy it before we can edit it. Now if you wish that the tip of your pole arm is made from a sword blade, then why not? Your mod, your rule. Now after taking this, I'm gonna take the mace head of a catapract mace so that this will be our blunt spear. Now let's delete what we don't need and let's go to changing our ID so that it won't override the original one. Now as you can see here, I am removing some unavailable usage so that it will allow us usage that we can use. This is placed here to limit us from using everything from the pole arm template. For example, one of the plants has a part that is not couchable, then that whole item cannot be couch. Now let's delete all of this except the five that we will use as our template. Now I want this spear blade to be only spear bracing and two-handed pole arm. Also the javelin. And let's change the crafting template ID to our own custom spear or whatever you, you want to put. And let's put these usable pieces in our usable piece tag. Now we will go to item so that we can craft this spear. Let's take a sample of Minavlion and put our usable piece inside. Let's change the ID so that it would override Minavlion and change its name to a Glade Spear. And let's change the crafting template. Let's put the items that we want to craft 
make sure that blade goes to blade and guard goes to guard and so on. Now we will also copy this so that we can make our blunt spear. Let's change this and we'll remove the extra and call this custom hammer. And in the name, we can just name this whatever we want. And I'll call this blunt cleave. Now let's limit this into so because this is blunt, we cannot use it as a 200 pole arm bracing. Now let's go and test it in game. Activate the mod first. And in game, let's go to Smithy to show you the possible products in our custom crafting template. It is error for now. Now see here that the swing speed increase as it goes shorter. 100 pole arm cannot be swing. In here, the swing speed is 50, which is so slow. Now because we cannot craft this, we're just gonna take it in our crafted items inside the cheat items. Let's find our item which was the name is Blade Spear and Blunt Cleave. Let's find the Blunt Cleave first and the Blade Spear. Now let's try and save first in case something went wrong you can just load here and let's try inside the village. Now let's see how fast or how slow it is and it is so slow. This is the bracing sphere. And we crash. It has something to do with the maze head. And let's find what it is. Here, the maze cannot be trusted, which is the only purpose 100 pole arm has. Now let's try it again. Try the maze, and it didn't crash. So, problem solved. Now, let's try this in an actual battle. And let's shorten it so that it can be useful. Let's change the scale factor into a half length. And let's try to make a unit that wear this custom item. Inside our module data, I created something extra. The Batanian Volunteer. Let's just put the items here and remove the extra 